Hi, my name is Tracy Ham, and I'm the head women's soccer coach at UC Davis. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and this is a five minute hot take on what you wanna know when you're applying for a coaching position. So the first thing uh, that's really important is to expect to get personal. So a lot of questions that are gonna be asked of you um, will be really relevant to kind of who you are as a person. So why do you wanna coach? How'd you get into coaching? What's your favorite thing about coaching? Take some of those experiences that you've had and make them relevant to those questions. So expect to get personal and it's okay to share um, some of that feedback. Uh, the second thing is to uh, be prepared to discuss your values. So how will you lead your team? What is important to you as a person? Um, how do you build culture? And what do you consider a successful environment? those values that you kind of live by, um, and that's your code for making decisions, it's your code for feedback. Um, those are all really important things. The third thing is do your research. Uh, so you need to learn about who you're gonna be working with. Um, so that's administrators, that's staff, that's other coaches, maybe coaches of other sports if you're working at a, at a high school or university. Um, and then do some research on the details of like the conference or the league that you're gonna be a part of. So make sure that you're reaching out to people um, and figuring out some of those important components. Uh, the fourth thing, uh, and I think this is probably the most important, is being really genuine um, and really authentic. So be yourself. You just have to trust that you're the right fit. And if what you're saying, if you're, if you're not being well received being yourself, then that might not be the right fit for you either. So you really wanna be yourself, be authentic, be engaging, be charismatic, um, you know, just so that everybody that you're interviewing with can actually get a glimpse of like who you are as a person. And you're also gonna feel a lot more comfortable when you're having conversations and you're talking about your values um, if you're actually just being yourself uh, rather than trying to kind of fit into a mold of what you think you're supposed to be. Uh, the fifth thing is um, expect scenario-based questions. So this is something that is really difficult to prepare for because obviously you don't know what scenarios the you know interviewer might throw out to you. Um, but the thing that's really important is that you find a way in whatever scenario they give you um, that you can relate it back to personal experience. And you might not have something that fits that exact scenario, but you've kind of got to think about some really key memories that you've had in your experience or in your background that you know might be relatable um, or might be a, you know, a different way of thinking about that scenario and how you handled that specific situation. Uh, the sixth one is what is your coaching style? So what's your communication style like? Are you someone that's really direct? Are you transparent? Are you, do you kind of vary your styles of communication? Do you talk to players individually? Do you always address the team? Do you like to play direct? Do you like to play possession style? Um, are you really focused on player development or technical development? Uh, and any, there's not like a wrong answer, but that's something that they're gonna ask. And again, be really genuine, be really um, authentic in it. If you're a coach that loves to build out of the back and play possession, um, don't tell them that you play direct because that's something that they're gonna expect or it's something that they might communicate with parents. You wanna set up the right expectations um, for actually when you do get the role that what you said uh, in your interview is actually true. Uh, the seventh piece, and this is kind of more specifically for college coaches, but you wanna know the academic success. Do they historically have a great team GPA? Um, do they have a mandatory study hall? Um, what's helped student athletes be successful at that program? Because first and foremost, your job is to help make everybody graduate um, and have a great student athlete experience. So the last piece, and this is eighth, is uh, it's okay to brag. Um, and what I mean by that is you need to be able to clearly communicate and own why you've had success and why you should get this job. Um, you wanna be able to share your accolades that you've received, share stats, how your teams have done. Don't confuse you know, your confidence with arrogance. Uh, I think as women, sometimes it's really hard for us to share um, positive things about ourselves and like why we are good at our jobs and why we do deserve different positions. And so it's okay, like as an administrator or someone that's in that hiring position, they're looking for you to tell them, right? Or show them why you deserve to be here and why they should hire you. So be really confident, um, be assertive. Uh, those are really great qualities in a coach. Shows that you have integrity, it shows that you're, you know, you're trustworthy, uh, that you believe in yourself and uh, you know, you're gonna do a great job coaching any team. Uh, so that's it for the five minute hot take on what you want to know when you are applying for a coaching position. Uh, have fun today.